Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Tommy. And this is... T2 Baseball. You're 20-something games into the travel season. You're batting in the high 300s. Your OPS is 9-something. You're hitting doubles, uh, catching, playing the outfield, playing second. It's going pretty good for you. Uh, the record's not that great. <laughs> but but you're, you're having a good season. A couple other guys are having some really good seasons. So uh, you're getting a lot of uh, games in and getting better. That's what's yeah. important. So today we're going to talk about this catcher's gear you've had for about six months. Yes. And um, you started practicing with it indoors and uh, it's kind of broken in now. It kind of looks it. Uh, it's uh, made by All Star, which is some of the best stuff out there. Yeah. It's a System 7 Axis. It is an intermediate size, which is supposed to be for 12 to 16 year olds. So it's good. <laughs> and uh, we'll go over some of the features. Um, it, it, one of the things I have to say about any catcher's gear is that when you get in between youth and the intermediate size, there's weird. this kind of gray area. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little bit of a, a challenge. Where it doesn't quite fit 100%, but the smaller youth stuff is too small, but this is maybe a hair too big. Although you've grown about an inch or so since April. So I don't see you having the same problems exactly but I'll go over some of the things that I did to kind of help get around that. So first of all, it's, look at my notes here, because it is SEI certified to meet NOC SAE standards. And what that means is that the SEI is the Safety Equipment Institute and the NOC SAE standard, they set uh, standards that they want athletic gear to meet uh, when it's basically properly protecting you when you're playing. Uh, the NOC SAE is the National Operating Committee on Standards for Athletic Equipment. Long name. So all like a... So it applies to the, the helmet and it applies to the chest protector, which we'll, we'll, we'll do one at a time and talk about uh -huh. each one. Um, there's not really, I don't think there's one for the this gear because there's not really a type of injuries that they would say or say yeah. like head injuries or say, uh, you know, like there's some things with your heart that so there's you, not much like thing that could happen with your like. Well, you, there, you can yeah. hurt yourself, but I don't but think there's a standard like, for it. You no, know, your heart is a little bit more than that. Right. So there's not really a standard for it. It's more like life threatening things. Yeah. Life changing things. So the helmet is a it's a hockey goalie style. It looks like one. It does. Um, one of the nice things about it is that all the liner pieces are velcroed in, including the, the mouth chin guard here, so you can take them out and clean them. Yeah, you can take each one out. Yes, you can. Um, it's there's a it's a multi-piece thing. There are these like finger type things that kind of velcro in, uh, and then it's got the adjustable uh, backing here, which is really nice because it makes sure it's nice and snug without yeah. without hurting. Yeah. Right. Um, it's got what they call um, eye vision, which is oh, uh, there's like a flat gap here. Right. So, so what they see. did was they flattened the yeah. face guard this way, so you it doesn't obscure you view, nice. your view. Like it, like a, a round one would. Yeah, know? it's like this one right here. It's and it flat, keeps it, and so it's I'm still like, stronger. They can, so they can make it flat. They're all flat, actually. These ones are flat. Yeah, the ones, well, well, the ones where your eyes have to yeah. look out are flat, so that they don't, they're not rounded and thicker and obscure your vision. Uh, then it's got the six inch uh, throat guard. Which is uh, also okay. nice for you. Uh, how does it feel when it's on? It's comfortable? Uh, yeah, it feels pretty comfortable. I'd say it's one of the, the other one that I had. Uh, this one's definitely more comfortable. Okay. Than the other one was uh, an Easton Game Time yeah. Elite. That was a, it. Was a nice. It was for, It was still it was really nice, nice but uh, I think it's one, the helmet for this one is kind of more comfortable. Uh, so anyway, that meets the standards um, for basically head type injuries. So all good. <laughs> uh, the the uh, leg guards. So there's a couple things about these. It's a one nice thing, or a couple nice things, a few nice things. The uh, inserts actually pull out, they're velcroed on as well, and they pull off, you can clean them. Everything's easy to clean. The kneecap comes off too with Velcro, and it's got a gel it's insert. It's got a little gel pad, so it's not, on your so knee. if it hits your knee, which is, right. it will hurt it. If it hits your knee in the right place, it can hurt. Right, but this is, yeah, this has so got extra gonna... padding, and, it, and it's all removable. Uh, they also have a kind of a diamond shape, so it makes it breathable, yeah, so um, you, and it yeah. dries quickly. I actually, I've actually gotten these wet, and they dry surprisingly quickly. I have to want to clean them out. The yeah. uh, all of the hardware, the clasps are all stainless steel, black stainless steel, so they're not going to have a rust. Oh, yeah. So, and you've got the you've got the knee savers, which uh, you know, 
Maybe which, the Ivy Zone. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that too. That um, So sometimes with these type of clasps, if they don't fit just right and they're not they're like tight, a, they're going to fall off. They come off when you flex, especially when you have knee savers on because you compress it, it's, it feels tight. But when you sit back on those, it compresses it and these can come off. So what I did was I found what are called HK clasps. These are normally used on slings for rifles. So these and are it's gonna, a spring loaded. I don't think these are gonna come. You can get them on Amazon. I'll post a link if anybody's interested. But this really keeps these on so yeah. that they're not flopping around. I mean, they are like this way, so they're not. Well, they lock. Good. They lock. Where but they're the, still really good. They're way better than this, and it's especially because these ones we had. Uh, the regular ones in this one before, and they just kept coming off. So when you when you sit place. when you sit back on them, if they're not really really tight, they come off. Mm -hmm. And this is one way to stop that. And you can still easily get them off with one hand. They're still spring loaded and so forth. Um, so the uh, All Stars. There are a couple other brands that do this now, um, but these guys are known for it. It's not just the foot guard, the shin guard. And knee. It just, there's a little bit extra pattern. You've got, which right. Really some, nice. some of them have an extra piece that kind of helps a little higher, but this one's, this is a five piece. And so you've got extra One, two, movement. Three, four, five. It's like a shrimp. It's uh, like a shell. So, I mean, it's, I it, mean, it, there's flexibility. I mean, you can I mean, really I mean the last one I had, it only went up to like the knee or whatever. They can stop here. Or it's up like around here. And this one has a... This covered your knee. The, the other one's covered your knee and, too. But and you, you get hit here. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Exercise. Yeah. Yeah, if you a foul ball off your thigh, uh, it hurts. no bueno. It, it stings, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Right. Um, I will post the actual model numbers for the individual helmets, like the helmet. The helmet has its own part number. Uh, I mean, it came as a set, but the helmet has its own part number. Shin guard and the chest protector all yeah. have their own part numbers, if, like and, and I'll post them if anybody was interested in looking at just pieces. Um, one thing I did notice is that you, you kind of put a lot of wear on these. <laughs> I think. A lot of this I think because uh, we were indoor indoors, before, so it hit the ground. So after, yeah. if you're outside, it won't happen long. Right. Like, it's not going to happen. But if um, if, any, if you were, like, say we got to the point where we had to replace something, you could just buy these separately. You yeah, so you, you don't, yeah. Right. So let me get the chest protector. There. So the chest protector, um, this is also that certification, and it actually protects you. It's certified to protect you from that. So you know how you see, like, portable defibrillators in schools and everywhere now? Uh, that's because of like a blunt force to your chest. It'll like wind, it'll like wind you, or it will... if it hits you just right, it can stop your heart. Yeah. And there's a Latin term for that, and this is certified to protect against that. Um, it's pretty thick, and yeah. it's got it's got all, all these pleats in it, so it's still flexible. So you can it wraps around. It's also got the the kind of the lower body protector. Uh, it's got the uh, one arm shoulder protector which those come off, they're Velcroed on. And I did again, I added the HK clasp to this so that it was, so, yeah, so they, they, they stayed on. Um, it had some other ones that I think would stay on. They were like the kind, I don't know what you call those, but they had, they were spring loaded too, but these are actually, I think, easier to get on and off. Yeah. You can kind of just click these on. The other ones you have to kind of grab and- Oh yeah, before we had these actually, uh, the regular ones are hard to get on, so. And off, yeah. 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 Uh, but it's, it bends. I mean, it's got these pleats in it so that it bends and it's pretty nice. nice and thick and padded, but it still moves with you and it's, and it's so secure. It's not gonna... um, and so basically, if anybody's interested, uh, the measurements for sizing, they measure from your, for the chest protector, they measure from your clavicle, which is your collarbone, to your belly button. And then they measure from your middle of your knee to the top of your foot. And then you can kind of get an idea of what size you'd wear from that. And Allegedly, you fit into the intermediate one, but again, it was a little, I think, a hair too big. I mean, obviously, they can't make all these sizes in between. Yeah, because that's just kind it, of it, a waste. It is, it'd be too much. Um, too much money for that to make. But uh, it's, it's a higher-end product. It does cost more. and uh, But in this case, you kind of get what you pay for. So I'll post all the links down below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the, you know, ask, we'll, we'll get back to you. And uh, I think that's it for now. We'll see you next time.